Hi everyone, welcome to the Data Structures and Algorithms Essentials course. And this is the only course that you will need to understand and master the underlying concepts behind data structures. So, hello, my name is Pratik Narang. I am a software engineer at Google and a programming instructor. And I love creating these courses. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. And if you know want to know more about me, you can visit my website pratiknarang.com. Uh, this is my interactive portfolio where I have shown my journey, how I learned code and what are the things I achieved. And talking about this course, this course is a part two of a three part course series. And this is the complete data structures and algorithms track that I have created. The part one is C++ essentials. Part two is data structures and algorithms essentials, which is this course. And part three is advanced course, which is meant for problem solvers. And you will learn how to use these data structures for solving a lot of competitive programming problems as well. So we will focus on this part for this video because this course is about part two and little bit about my professional experience. In the past, I've created several top, top rated online courses and I created this initiative for coding minutes to bring quality courses via Udemy. And my courses are not just videos, they offer TA support and real hands on experience. Okay, so I will, I will prefer skills over theoretical knowledge and you will find this course a completely hands on. And students have loved these courses and that's why they have rated me 4.7 or higher for these courses. So what you are going to do, what you are going to expect after this course, you will learn how to implement all the data structures from scratch. Okay, you will know how a heap works, you will know how a hash table works, you will learn how to implement a graph, you will learn how to implement a vector and so on. You will understand, you will build a solid programming foundations using data structures and not just data structures, you will also learn uh, programming concepts like object oriented programming, how to use the C++ standard template library and with each data structure, we will be solving some basic to intermediate level programming questions as well so that not just theory, but you also see the real application of that data structure in problem solving. So what are the prerequisites for this course? As I sh showed to you, this is a course two of three part series. The, uh, what you, what it is needed is you need to know the basics of programming that I call as C plus plus essentials, or you can also have an idea of some other programming language like Python or Java that is also okay. But for this course, we would be using the C++ programming language. And I expect that you know what are variables, what are loops, what are conditional statements, what are functions, data types, and their ranges, and little bit about operators as well. So that's it. That's what I expect from you, that you are able to write a basic function, a function to check a number is prime or not. All those things are required for this course. So now you are ready to learn a lot of new things including new programming concepts, oops, recursion, data structures, algorithms and the most important space time complexity analysis. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the curriculum. So broadly speaking the curriculum is divided into three categories. One is programming concepts, another is algorithms and another is data structures. So we cover all these data structures starting from arrays till the graphs and with each data structure we will show you the hands on implementation, how that data structure is implemented and you will build your own library of data structures. Okay. That means you can implement your own header file for a linked list. You can build your own header file for a heap or a hash table. And apart from it, you will also see how to use the C++ inbuilt library that that is also covered in this course. Talking about algorithms, we will talk about complexity analysis, sorting and searching algor algorithms. And many greedy techniques are basically nothing but based upon the concept of sorting. So you will learn about those. You will learn about how to write brute force algorithms and backtracking algorithms are mostly brute force algorithms. Okay. And we'll learn about divide and conquer and we will learn about dynamic programming as well. Talking about programming concepts, we will talk about pointers, which is a C++ specific concept. You'll learn about bit masking or bit manipulation. And this is an interesting topic and many students had requested me to include this topic and we'll talk about the basics of object oriented programming. And in the end of the course, we will build a shopping cart backend using the concepts from object oriented programming 
algorithms and data structures so we will combine all these concepts in a mini project that we will do to build a shopping cart at the end of the course so talking about the course logistics what are the things you will find in this course so there are concept videos a lot of videos that explain you the concepts of data structures the concepts of programming there are coding videos which are in c++ but if you are coming from other language such as c java python then also you can do this course and i would be providing a code repository in java as well as of now so that you don't get stuck c++ and java and python they are very similar languages and the only difference is in the syntax the core concepts of data structures are going to remain same across the three languages okay so you will have a code repository in c++ and java we will have a qa section in which we have dedicated tas tas are teaching assistants they will monitor your doubts you can ask the questions and we will try to answer those doubts on the daily basis then there is a coding minutes discord where you can interact with other community members and the people who are doing this course and you can have any discussions around placements or anything of your choice okay then there are notes so right now i am providing few articles but you can create your own notes use, using the features of udemy okay so i would recommend uh, there is a feature to create or save a note so you you can create your own notes using the udemy's platform and those notes would be saved for your future reference if you want to remember something you just click the button create a note at that particular point in the video apart from it there are practice coding exercises you have to write and submit codes which will be evaluated by the test cases written at the back end and these exercises are only in c++ and if you want to do this exercise in some other language you have to do it in your own id as well okay apart from it for few sections there are mcq tests as well that you can take to test your understanding of the course so this is about logistic so one thing people uh, get stuck in the beginning is many times uh, we are using the features of c++ 11 or higher okay so people generally find that these features may not work in their local id so sometimes what you can do is either you upgrade the gcc version in your local id the compiler version or if you want to if you want a quick start you can also use our online id which is at id.codingminutes.com okay so you can run and save your codes online as well and it is a full screen id the udemy editor is a small id but if you use this id it's a full screen id and you can run all languages it supports multiple languages including java python node and a lot of other languages as well so you can also practice your codes on our online id as well so talking about takeaways uh, what you can expect after doing this course you will definitely understand the basics of data structures build a solid programming foundation you will broaden your thinking and you will pack your toolbox so i call this data structures as a toolbox because to solve any problem you need tools and those tools for a programmer are these data structures okay and you will be ready with your toolbox after doing this course and apart from it we have already discussed we would talk about complexity analysis and finally a mini project to build a shopping cart back end at the end of the course so i think that's whole lot of information for you and one thing uh, people generally ask me to shoot these videos as dark mode so i have recorded this course in the dark mode so that it doesn't affect your eyes a lot when you're studying at night and yeah that's it so i hope all of you are ready to start your new journey of learning data structures and algorithms with me in this course so all right so see you in the course then bye bye for now